Shalom Zion. All honor, glory, and praise goes to the Most High Yahweh in the name of Yahusha HaMashiach. Brothers and sisters, had to redo this video. Messed up the audio on the last one. But I want to address this here, this topic of how they used TV and movies for mind control and reprogramming of the Hebrew man and woman's mind or the black man and the black woman's mind now uh, back in the 70s they had this movement of self-empowerment but also the rising up of the female the black female woman into a position of power and uh, even higher than and above the man himself. Now this was all uh, strategically done and designed to tear up the black family household. To tear the family apart. To have both of them fighting for the same position and place in the home. And to lift up the woman to think that she can do the duties of the man in the household without him. And this all started back then, the 60s, 70s. And it was all by design that they put out all these movies to tear down the black man and control him in the household and tell him how he should be and to control the black woman or Hebrew woman and how she should be in the household to turn the black man into some pimp a love maker machine going around conquering and just spilling his seed everywhere which wherever he want to spill it and don't care about nothing and no one and and they turned him into that you can still see the effects of this today look at this black shampoo he's bad he's mean he's a loving machine this is the the man the ladies flock to and look at what they turned the the women into an easy target an easy slut looking whore and they eventually turned the mind frame around to that as well through a lot of these movies and they lifted her up above at the same time it was lifting her up above the man in the household like the scripture said a woman would get up higher than the man she would rule over the men and today you see that and it's because of our disobedience all this is happening but back in the day these movies that you call great good and all of that nah it's all programming from those uh, three letter agencies that exist in the government today they had their hand in this as well and with their psyops programs and the Jim Crow laws and all this systematic control to keep us where they want us and they didn't want us in control over nothing not unless they was controlling you now you got the black dolomite type he's black he's bad he's dynamite and he got all the women flocking to him you got this here, you know, like hero type. They made every type of man that was wicked and servant to the system than the type of real man that we need to see that servant to the Most High. This is what started everything. And this eventually led to the rap. And the rap turned it turned into some type of revolution but none of these men that rose up even during the revolution time civil rights era was the type of man that the most high would send though they talked taught some you know some good things fought for our rights and all these things but the Most High would have you fight for His kingdom and His rights or His laws, such commandments. 
to raise you up in his ways. That's the type of man he would send, and that's the type of man he's always sent in the, in the past. And the women were virtuous women. They weren't like this. This image of the woman, this independent woman that exists today. They weren't like this. With this image of a bad mama. She ain't taking no slack. She ain't taking nothing. But she's easy. And there was another movie that I watched where, with Danny Glover and this other woman. Uh, it was an old time 70s movie. And, uh, Danny Glover, still like in the slave days, you know, where they had all this power and control, uh, just right after the slave days. And, you know, they trying to get by and, but they still had to bow down to the master and all that, working for them. Well, he went into the store where he was working and there was this white, younger white guy that kind of uh, almost ran into him on the way out. Almost ran into him on the way out. And he went to his car and, and the white man that he worked for, you know, treated treat him like dirt because he almost ran into the white man. And, uh, but the white man ended up leaving with all this stuff that he was going to sell and he ended up stopping by Danny Glover's house where his wife was inside so his wife was in there and um she ended up uh giving it up so to speak to the white man because the white man treated her nice and she it was just that easy she forgot her household she forgot her name she forgot her husband, she forgot about her children. She forgot what world she was living in and, and gave it up to the, to the white man. Easy. It was so easy. All he did was be nice to her and kind. Did a few little things, danced with her a little bit, which he wasn't supposed to do. And, and then she lost her mind and, 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 uh, gave it up. Just like that. Easy. And they make it seem easy in quite a few movies for them to uh, be able to uh, project that image of you being easy, an easy target, an easy lay, you know. And this started all in that era, you know, putting this bad mama jamma, this type of woman that no one can control or no, you know, they made it look like it was a bad thing. To have a head over you. To have a little control over you. It's the reason why Adam Eve, Eve fell. Because she lost her head. She lost her covering. She lost who was over her. Whom she was supposed to be helping. But she decided to help something else. And look at these images. You have the Negro man being tore down in his mind to be some pimp glorified pimp going around sticking everything that walks and alive and that's being glorified and they glorifying our you know our male parts and all that that's wickedness if y'all still talking like that you'll be in just as wicked as they that's wickedness even talking about our women like that is wickedness and look at the, the image they project. This independent, uncontrollable, I'm going to do and dress how I want to type of woman. This is the end result today. Look at look how we all turned out today. Even in this awakening, you still have this type of man here. Look at this. This is the type of man in this awakening. Some of them are still like this. And you still got the, the pimp type. You still got the thug type. Everything they put out in these movies, we have become. But this is one of those eras in the 60s, 70s, with the Black Panther Party and Malcolm X and Martin Luther King, Civil Rights Era. A special era that they uh, tore down. 
And then they replaced it with things like this. Who's the Mac? Who want to be the Mac? Mac Daddy. Black sees you, the godfather of Harlem. Wickedness at high places, Zion. Savage sisters. Y'all see this? They want to build up this bad mama jama. And now they're using the um, schooling system to lift you up above the man. And the government system to keep you keep the family household and the family unit from being sticking together and being together. They done tore down the family unit when it was strong back then and building and going somewhere. They had to do something. And this is how they did it. Through movies, through TV. Giving you a little bit more freedoms and redesigning your mind to become this. Then they turn you into a thug through the music industry and um, movies and music videos. They turn the men into uncontrollable little uh, boys. And some of them still that way to this day in their 50s, acting like little boys. Little thug boys. And the same sense of the women. Uncontrollable. Ghettoish women. Uncontrollable, high-minded, conceited, van vain women. <clears throat> Even men have become vain. And money and prosperity and it's all centered around, and they started this back then. And it was all designed that the black man and the black woman couldn't live together with one another. They would, they would be at each other's throat fighting for number one position, the man's position. And that's what's happened. That's why you got the high percentage of Hebrew women, black women, single. Because there can't be two heads in that same household. The Most High has already designed the man first to be that position. He's designed the woman to be in another position. He took the woman out of the man to be a help me to that man. That's her design. That's her, her position. That's her design. Satan has an interest to reverse those designs and turn the man into the, to the wife position into the second role and turn the woman into the male role in the head position. He's flipping everything upside down in his last days. He's going all out. His time is short, but one of his goals is to destroy the Hebrew man and Hebrew woman to keep them destroyed mentally, that they will never come together and form the family unit that they had before, a strong black family unit of men, women, and children. Think about when um, in the Maccabees books uh, where they had that Hebrew family who was torn up. They chopped them up. They boiled them. They did all manner of horrible things, but they never gave up the Most High. They never gave up their family members. They stuck together and they stood strong as a family, a, a, a kingdom family. And they gave their lives for the most time, as well as did all the prophets and, prof uh, and uh, some of our prophetess, some of the women of the most high, gave their lives in glory and honor, put their lives on the line to save Zion as well, on both sides, men and women. Where the men uh have fallen at some of the women stood up in their place to be the help me to Zion. Some of them were judges at a time until the men took their place again. They fill in. They help out. That's what they supposed to do. They're the they, they're designed specifically for us Zion. Just as well as the Most High designed you men for himself. We are the Most High's inheritance. 
Zion. He designed us a specific and certain way. That's why he set us apart. Because he made us different from everyone else. And we are definitely set apart from all nations. But getting back into this. Look at Black Dolomite. All the women he had in this movie. I mean, I can go on and on. Shaft. This is the man that they wanted you to be. They didn't want you to become the man that the Most High wanted you to be. To be a strong black man who will run his household according to the Father in heaven. No, they want you to be this here, out of control. Uh, always dipping in, you know, into someone else's household or into um, some female's legs, but that's the type of man they wanted you to be, a pimp. And they wanted the women to put on this prostitution looking look to be easy and available, but a bad, uncontrollable mam mama jamma who can fend for herself. This is the pinnacle of their design for you. Zion. This is the man they want. That y'all would always be at odds. Always fighting. Could never get it together. Wouldn't want to marry each other. You you have children. But you wouldn't be able to marry. Wouldn't want to marry each other. Then you would fight about the children. Or fight against one another. Hating on one another. In front of the children. The children grow up a certain way. And the whole household is dysfunct dysfunctional. And, and mentally destroyed and now we're trying to reverse these things we have to put these type of things away I'm not going to watch these movies anymore you know I did give them up before uh, and every now and then I would watch a movie very rare then they start getting a little bit more. I start watching a little bit more movies and some sitcoms that was on YouTube. But I still don't spend a majority of my time watching all that crap. But we ought to get all the way away from it. I know that's something that's going to be really hard. Even for me. But I'm going to do it. You know why? Because there are messages in here, subliminal messages and certain frequencies they don't put in these movies to program you. They'll lower your state, your mental state to a reception state, to a zombie-like state while you're watching these movies. And you're just receiving, receiving, receiving. And it's going into your subconscious mind. And next thing you know, you like this dude without even knowing it. Or you like this woman. So yes. We do have to put these things away. And uh, for the glory of the most high. Let's do it. It's going to be really hard. But instead. Won't you start creating your own little short movies. Of good Hebrews. And good Hebrew families. And why don't y'all make your own plays. And do that. They're making a lot of short stories on YouTube. Uh, the heathens are making a whole lot of these short, short movies, short, uh, mo uh, shows. Why can't we do the same? There is actually, I came across a Hebrew channel who is doing something like that. And, uh, I forgot the name of that channel. I need to find that channel again. They're actually doing, uh, like, Recording the uh, theatrical, like like a theatrical play. They're making their own little episodes, you know. And we ought to support that. And there's someone making a little cartoon. Uh, uh, we need more people like that, you know. If you got that talent or skill, let me know. And uh, start putting this thing. I'll help you put it together. You know, if you need ideas or uh, how to go about it, let me know. 
right now I don't have time to do it. I'm just putting that information out there so we can have our own string of uh, animation shorts, you know, and movie shorts, even a series of uh, showing real Hebrew families and stuff like that, reality show type stuff. And that stuff we need if we're going to still watch television or uh, movies or whatever. But this here is all designed to destroy us, Zion. Even if you watch for entertainment and say, oh, it's just entertainment. You're still going to get that programming. And next you know, you're going to be trying to do this in the Hebrew Awakening. I got some Hebrews wearing their stuff acting like this. Wearing the Hebrew gear. Acting like this dude. Acting like that dude. Acting like this dude. Acting like they got the hookup. We got women in the Hebrew awakening. Wearing the Hebrew women gear. Acting like this woman. Acting like that woman. Some of them still in the awakening. They, they, doing, they still wearing their bikinis. and Man. This awakening is a hot mess. And a lot of y'all think y'all ready to go into the kingdom. You know, yeah, they're throwing a, a little message here and there that benefit us in some type of way. But the rest of the movie is trash. They're just like a lot of these Hebrews risen up. They are, they, yeah, they'll get a good message across and make me make a good video with animation and all these other art magic included. But the message, the rest of the message is, is trash. It's covered with lies and stained with deception. You know, they, they even got the agenda, the black and white agenda. Where um, they're making it more acceptable for the black man to to hook up with a black with a white woman now, and vice versa, and it's all to destroy the black awakening, the Hebrew awakening. They want to continuously tear down the image of the black man and make him look like a fool on TV. And lift up the woman high above. They doing it with the white man and the white woman too. This goes that way too. They lifted up the white woman above the white the white man right now. In certain ways they are. To break up their households and tear up their families. What has happened to us in the beginning is happening to them as well. And their being, their households is is being torn apart, just like ours was. But we're being awakened and gathered to the true household of the Most High. And being like any of these characters that they want us to be like, what their design is telling us to be like, is to our detriment and our destruction. Black dynamite. Come on, man. Look at this. White woman hanging on one side of the black man leg. Black woman hanging on the next side of the leg. Wearing red and blue. Y'all know that duality stuff. Y'all know the um, uh, Republican versus the Democrat. And then they got them with their legs open as being little sluts or whores wide open for business. This this is just a hot mess, Zion. And these messages will imprint in your mind over time as you're watching all these things over a long period of time. Will destroy your mind and turn it into the beast mind, the image of the beast. They, they want to take you from the image of the most high to the image of the beast. And live in it. Live in the image of the beast instead of living in the image of the father. Look at this. What the world at last? My my baby is black. 
for mature audiences only, conceived in love delivered into hate. So they want you to have some type of compassion for this type of relationship, which has always been uh, detrimental to Zion and to the Most High. One way or another. And uh, regardless of what people want to say about what I just said, go ahead and say what you want to say. I'm standing with the Most High. Now, if you just happen to be already in a relationship where you married outside of your heritage, you know, uh, and you already were married, you didn't know, and you just woke up, and the other partner, the Gentile is with you, if they choose to follow the ways of the Most High, then you can still do your job to be the light to that Gentile, and also uh, you can sanctify that marriage if they choose to walk in the ways of the Most High. And that's a big if. And if they don't, then you you can you you have freedom to divorce them. That's what the scriptures say. You're not bound to them, no wicked heathen man, whether they be wicked on of our people or wicked of their people. You're not bound to that. But you do have to at least give them a chance, give them a time, and uh let them be the head if you're the wife. And, uh, serve them in with, with the kingdom on your heart and mind. If the most I tell you to cut them loose, then cut them loose. But let it be the most high's decision. Because either he see that they're going to tear you down and turn you from them, and he's going to save you for himself, or he's going to see that they're going to let you be who you be, and they're going to do their thing, but they're not going to interfere. So you have that. Uh, Y'all remember Timothy of the scriptures, right? Um, Paul and Timothy. Timothy was half, half Greek, half Hebrew. His father was Greek and his mother was a Hebrew. I think that's how that went. But he was, he was half. But he followed and he served. Uh, he served us, you know, and he did his thing. And the Most High honored that. And he was as one of the brethren. So I'm not telling you to turn on your marriages just because you're married, you know, outside of your race. But you got to examine that, you know, and weigh it in the balance. And let the Most High make that decision because he knows what's best. He knows the true heart of the person you married, whether they're going to turn and be with you or not. But back to the subject, Zion. All these movies, these 70s and 60s movies, they are all designed to tear the black family apart. Completely, totally apart. Now, black 60s movies... Not that much pop up, does it? Let me try 80s. Now, this was a whole new genre in the 80s and the 90s, which evolved into another type of woman and man. That they wanted you to see. Springing off of the 60's and the 70's. Black man and black woman. You know. Man. So the main message. And the point of what I'm saying is. These people have still been using think tanks, Jim Crow laws, 
CIA, FBI, through the TV and through the movies and through uh, entertainment, uh, a musical artist, every area they can hit us, they've been using it against the Zion to keep us in their image and away from the image of the Most High that keep us in the image of the beast, serving sin, being a, a, a man ready to do sin, being a man ready to walk in the sin, to accept sin in all of its forms. And any one of us who's, who decides to serve the image, they'll lift up and then they'll kill you if you try to go outside of it and serve yourself and serve um, your your people. And they always got to lift themselves up as being the heroes as well in these movies. It's very rare they let you be the hero. Look at the uh, Marvel world. DC comic world. Yeah, they give us a few little heroes here and there, but they always control. Look at Black Panther, the movie Black Panther. Look what they did. At the end, it was, it was the, um, it was the white man who saved the world. Even though he used What's her name? Shuri's, uh, Shuri's, uh, technology and the technology of Wakanda, but it was him who stopped those, uh, craft from getting outside of the Wakanda's barrier to go out and destroy all these, you know, different, to take down the West, pretty much. It was him who stopped them. He saved the day. He saved your world. He saved their world. That's what I meant. It was him. It wasn't Black Panther. Black Panther defeated, what's his name? But they made sure that the hero was him, was, was the white dude. He didn't want to stop them. He saved the day. Everybody rallied around him more than they did Black Panther and Shuri. Even with um, Hancock. They turned him to some gangster thug who needed a white guy to show him the way, show him how to be civilized, show him how, how to be righteous and have a heart. And then he had a white wife whom that white guy was married to. And it turned out she was even stronger than him. Y'all see the mind games they're playing here? How they end up destroying the black mind? And you rooting and hollering and for all of this, all of this destruction of your mind, your heart, your body, your soul, the destruction of the black man, the black woman, you rooting, crunching on popcorn to all this while they steadily destroying us in the image of the beast and molding us into the image of the beast. Raising up men and young little, young lets, youngins and young lets. To become these, the, the, the Mac and the, the bad, independent, whore looking woman. Who don't give a dang about nothing. Or no one, not even their children. It's all about fame, fortune, money, having things, material, status. And she will accept nothing less than a man of status. This the man they don't program you to want, women. And men, this is the woman they don't program you to want. This bad chick. Got everything flaunted and poked out for everyone. As a whore would on the street corner. This is how they, they used to dress back in the 70s. In 60s, the whores would wear things like this out on the street corner so that they can flash what they got to get the draw the lust out of you so they can get the money 
It's all about the money. This is the the man they wanted you to be. The design. Boss nigga, what is this? What the? I never even heard of this. White man's town, black man's law. Never even heard of this. Boss nigga. Dolomite. We don't heard about him being a super bad lady killer. Well, all the ladies flocked to him. Same thing with this dude. Foxy Brown was the model woman everybody wanted to be back in the day. Bad, you know, the uh, intelligent, not controlled by no man, don't need one. You know, movies like this destroyed the man and the woman. The, and, and, and this is the reason why the black family and the black household can't get it together today. So, yes, Zion, we do have to put these things away. Even good times was a destroyer of us. The Jeffersons don't think that they had any good intentions in building us up. At any moment. Though they had some good messages in there. That you can learn from. But overall. Their image was still frozen in our minds. And they molded and crafted us into their. What they wanted us to be. Every single time. Now the Most High is putting a stop to that. Telling us hey y'all need to come back to me and my ways. And be molded and crafted after. My image. And who I want you to be. You don't want you to be like this. You don't want you to be like this. This is not our model. Men and women. Any of them that you see out there. This. Even this family. The Cosby family. This wasn't us. This is their image. Their writings. On what our household should look like. In their world. Because this house will look more like them. According to their standards. And really it didn't look like them. Their house was just as tore up as, as, uh, as ours is today. And as you can see. This image has been pushed. So much. A lot of our men have fell for it. And it's all to destroy the black man. And the black woman. From coming together. Underneath a strong family unit and raising up uh, the most high's sons and daughters to model after him. This is all designed to destroy us. And they can sit there and say this is racist all they want. I, I'm just, I'm tired of it. I don't even care no more. Let them say it. They come to the comment section saying all that. I'll just remove it or leave it for y'all to tear them apart or whatever I'm just I don't even want to hear anything about what I'm saying is racist or because they don't even understand what the meaning of racist means you have to have power and control to do something about another race in order to be racist but when another race of people has systematically destroyed Killed, stole, and destroyed a nation of people for hundreds of years. And you just expect us to be silent and shut up about it, get over it, when there's been no justice yet? Well, we're starting to see the curses come on, y'all. But there's a great destruction coming, too. And y'all don't want to hear that either. You know, the other nations don't want to hear this. They don't want to hear about their the low life. Negroes speaking up about their destru coming destruction. This is their world. They're going to stay haughty. They're going to stay prayerful. And they're going to act like they never did nothing to us. They hold themselves not guilty. And they don't know that the uh, sins of the fathers pass down to the third and fourth generation. And that's why the sins of their fathers pass down to them. 
they don't think that they have to pay for those crimes. And a lot of them never changed and never repented and never confessed it all before the Most High to find the repentance that there's, that their parents or great grandparents never got. And it, it stays in a, in a cycle. And the same thing with our Hebrew brothers and sisters. We imitate our ancestors in the past because we're never repented of those sins of our forefathers. So it just kept passing down. The ones who refused to repent, that went into their children. And it just kept passing down all the way to the children of wickedness of the Hebrews today. So you got a lot of wicked Hebrews out there loving being like this, even in the Hebrew awakening. They're like this or this dude or this one or this one. And you got a lot of women who had the sins of their forefathers passed down sins to them. And they're like this, even in Hebrew awakening, they're like this. They're like that. They're like this one. They're like this. In the Hebrew awakening. Still want to look sexy and flaunted. That's just a part of their life. They're not going to give up. Not even for the father. And it shows. Same thing with the, the, the pimps. In the Hebrew camps. They still out there. They're still doing their thing. In the Hebrew camps. They want five, six, seven, eight women. All these women hanging off of them. If you're going to have multiple wives, you better be doing it in righteousness. You have to be able to afford to take care of those wives and those children. Take responsibility. And if you don't have no help to help you, you better increase your income or something and get some people to help you. Hire, hire some Gentiles to help you. Hire some help to help your wives. You know, there are some risen up and they're in over their heads with multiple wives. Because they was thinking with something else rather than, uh, Thinking on, on on a spiritual level, thinking of the level of the Most High. Let's be real with this. And our fact, and our black families are destroyed to this day because of all the meddling, all the, all of us receiving what the heathen has programmed us to be. Through all their laws, through their, you know, uh, movies, television, music, ghetto, you know, through frequencies, subliminals, man, but we're coming out of that Zion. So I just want to talk a little bit about this subject and let y'all know we need to come away from these things now that we're awake. They are not for our good. Even movies where they got us in, in a little position of power or being some type of hero. It's still underneath their hand and what the way they want us to project things. It's still, the it's their world. This is not our rest. This is not our kingdom. I'm not saying you can't build up Zion, but go and make your own movies, short movie shorts. Go make your own animation shorts. There's free software out there. You can make your own movies and make your own animations. And teach Zion lessons that way. And uh, make your own theatrical plays. And show them. And you know. 
put up your PayPal links and crowdfunding links and we you know we'll fund it we'll fund you and your crew for doing that and we need to do these things uh, if we want to have some type of uh, other outlets that we can control and present righteous material before our eyes and our ears you know like I wanted to create the Hebrew alternative but I, I couldn't get no crowdfunding with enough people to step forward to, to fund it like that to where I could uh, bring another avenue another Hebrew business from one and another avenue to bring more information and um, present to you other businesses, Hebrew businesses and Hebrew artists, Hebrew craftsmen. That was the whole purpose of that. And I, I just, I don't know, people just thought I was a thief or something and a robber. But that's how we act. You know, we don't give people a chance. We judge and instantly just um, do weekly toward one another but if you have an idea you want to get it started make it known to me so I can announce it you know I'm gonna start announcing stuff like that on this channel as well um, and I'm gonna put it on the you know my Hebrew alternative website information about Hebrew businesses Hebrew uh, artists, craftsmen, stuff like that. So I'm be doing that on both channels. But as far as making money, um, uh, I'm going to keep the money making side away from this channel. Uh, that's why I built the Hebrew Alternative. So that it can be a source of revenue for myself. And I can promote businesses, not only my own, but Hebrew businesses. That's the whole center point. Centered around uh, my people. That's why it's named the Hebrew Alternative. But when I get ready to crank it up, I'll let y'all know when I get ready to crank the Hebrew Alternative up again. Uh, it didn't turn out the way I wanted to. Plus, I had a job that I had to do and training and stuff like that. But I'll get that going again soon. And uh, y'all support me. Give, man, open up. Help another brother build something. This is your opportunity. With that, I'm going to say shalom. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this this topic and this subject. Uh, I'm pretty sure y'all got some interesting things to say. So holler back at me. Shalom.